Today, I prepared a video especially for players with low frame rates or heavy stuttering. If you would increase your usual frame rate or reduce stuttering, this video will definitely help, so don't leave in the middle and watch the video until the end, then let's start. The first mod I'll introduce you to is the Boston Frame Rate Fix mod. This mod improves performance in Boston and surrounding area. And this mod is beneficial to anyone that roams the Boston area with mods that disable Previs or break precombines in the Boston area. The downside of the Boston Frame Rate Fix mod is that it only applies to outside areas. But it's true that the Commonwealth fields have more low frame rate issues than inside areas. I sometimes wonder why Bethesda made the Boston area frame drops so bad. Certainly, it is true that frames in the Boston area have a lot of problems. The Boston frame rate fix mod is also designed to solve this problem. So if any of you want to improve your frames in the Boston area, I'd recommend this mod. However, this mod seems to modify the Boston sector to optimize the Boston area. Therefore, it is recommended to test this mod in advance before using it because compatibility with mods related to the Boston area may be problematic. The second mod I'm going to introduce to you is the Sprint Stuttering Fix and it'll fall out for limits game memory to 500 speed. This is due to the fact that when the speed is greater than or equal to 500, the code that is used to align the camera when flying a vertebrate starts executing. This mod removes the 500 speed limit from the game's memory, which leads to unpleasant twitching and stuttering when sprinting on uneven surfaces. This mod is a great mod to solve the twitching and stuttering caused by the high movement speed of your character. So Sprint Stuttering Fix mod is the best choice to optimize your sprint. The third mod I will introduce to you is the High Frame Rate Physics Fix mod. This mod decouples game speed from frame rate, fixes basic buds, and improves loading times. And that's not all. Fix stuttering, make fallout for smoother, reduced loading times. iframe rate P6 fix mod is more effective for SSD players. It is a great mod that has the ability to significantly reduce loading times by disabling animations on loading screens and shortening animations after loading. Also, the high frame rate P6 fix mod fixes rotation speed in workshop mode. Fixes frozen nooks and freezes when accessing terminals and power armor. Fixes lockpicking rotation speed and sound during lockpicking. Rotation speed of objects I recommend it to you because it fixes and upraises many elements. Such as fixing the bug that causes the white screen to appear when the player falls down. The fourth mod I'm going to introduce you to is the Ultra Quality God Race Performance Fix mod. It's a file that changes the values God Ray uses, and it's hard to see it as a mod. It's in the form of a text file, which allows you to conveniently console comments and use ultra high quality shade beams by default without a huge performance set. How to use is simple. After putting the download text file in the folder where Fallout 4 is installed, connect to the game and type back God Rays in the console window. It's a way to optimize Godray through a few console commands, so the advantage is that you don't have to worry about mod conflicts or bugs. The last mod I want to introduce to you is the NVIDIA Reflex Support Mod. NVIDIA Reflex Support Mod is a 4SE plugin which can more than half render latency. NVIDIA Reflex optimizes GPU throughput and latency to both reduce latency and improve performance in some instances. Peak frame rate may be reduced in order to achieve improved responsiveness, specifically in GPU band scenarios. This mod features an ENV menu where you can change and save options in real time. Additionally, a frame limit option is provided. This frame limiter optimizes for low latency, so offers an optimal third frame rate compared to other options. By default, it is disabled. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. 
I made changes to the scene the character describes. If you have any suggestions for the video in various ways, including this, feel free to leave a comment. Ah, uh, and if you buy me a cup of coffee through Patreon, it will help a lot in producing video content in the future. Otherwise, subscribe, like, and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.